We're live in Salem, Massachusetts at God City Studios with legendary recording engineer and local resident, Kurt Ballou. Spooky. Oh my God, don't scary. do that. I'm scary. You're, you're conjuring. Kurt, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? It's good to see you. It's great to see you. I. How are you holding up as a resident of Time Magazine's scariest place in the world? <laughs> Uh, I feel great now that Halloween season is over. Uh, we heard. I'm scared of tourists. We heard on the way here that it was a little rough this year. Um, honestly, last year was worse. Okay. Um, Just witchy women everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Weach? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, uh, 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 you know, done a bunch of work with Chelsea Wolf, and she was telling me one time that she was walking around in Salem, and somebody drove by in a car and just went, "Witch!" to her, and she thought it was like the greatest thing. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she, Jeez. when she was here, took one of the coolest pictures ever of yeah. like a stiletto on a pedal. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Oh, Great the, uh, yeah, the longsword. Amazing. I remember that one, yeah. Amazing. Longsword. Yeah. It's a good pedal. Yeah, John, oh, John Schneider from Electronic Audio Experiments is a, is a local and amazing pedal designer. And yeah, she, I think she still uses that thing. How long have you been in this building? Uh, I've been here since 2003. Now, Technically, <laughs> December 31st, 2002. Wow, so we're coming up on this is the twenty year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, next next year, next October will be the um, the twenty year anniversary of my first session here. Which or maybe September. Um, I actually like I remember it as being Backstabbers Incorporated, but I actually think they might have been second, and the first band might have been. Um, Oh my God, my mind spacing. Um, Converge is the band that you're in. I, really? <laughs> um, no, from uh, from Connecticut. Uh, they played Furnace Fest last year. They recently got back together. Oh, hate breed. Uh, hate breed. No. Um, every band from Connecticut. Is <laughs> it's hate breed, yeah. Wait, just got back together. Connecticut. No, well, you know, can you can you like edit yeah, and yeah, yeah. me saying the name of the band later when I remember it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, the band was called. <laughs> Perfect. Oh right, of course. Oh, I remember that. Huge. So now, in near in almost twenty years, have you ever had an experience in Salem, like a spooky anything unexplainable? Happening? Are you a believer, Kurt? I'm not really a believer. I got to be honest. Wow. Um, however, here it comes. Well, so <laughs> this this studio has um, a steam heat system, okay. and oh, so the pipes are really yeah. loud, yeah, and yeah. so bands are constantly spooked out. And I have a very creaky floor, mm -hmm. so bands are always spooked out. And you'll like you'll like walk somewhere, and then like twenty minutes later, the floor will settle like a little nail moves. So it's it always sounds like something's going on here. There's also a mysterious patch of concrete in the basement where oh. it looks like maybe the body, some the bodies. Is it about six feet are, long, yeah. six feet deep? Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know how you deep can it is, just explain that, but it's a human-shaped. Uh, <laughs> it's an exact like is a there like chalk a, around like it? a gingerbread man. Like uh, okay. no, I'm just kidding. Just the guy. Uh, but yeah, when I when I moved in here, there was uh, well two things. The interesting thing happened when I moved in. So I when I when I bought the building, I had to gut the whole building. I built an apartment upstairs and I just built the studio ask. here. Yeah. Yeah. And um, one of the windows upstairs had a bullet hole in it. Oh my god! And. Also, what, what like when I was doing the construction, I don't know. Like I, a musket bullet? Yeah. Oh, yes, a musket <laughs> bullet. Old-timey. Yeah, old-timey musket it's bullet. old town. So, but yeah, when I was doing construction before I had like air conditioning and stuff, I had, you know, all the doors, all the windows open just to get some airflow. And so like the townies would stop by periodically and be like, oh yeah, I used to go to this here when Rebecca was a sub shop. And, you know, <laughs> share anecdotes of... Um, really? The different because it's a hundred year old building, so yeah. it's been a whole bunch of things Ooh. over the years. And uh, there was one time where somebody stopped by. It was like, "Yeah, shame about what happened here, huh?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" And they're like, "Oh, never mind," and just took off. And like I like chased them down, like and couldn't get the story out of them as to what happened here. Because there's probably a three year. After three years, you don't have to disclose it to who, you're, and at least in California, oh, if somebody yeah. dies and something yeah, you're yeah. selling or renting, you don't have to tell them. After three, three years, yeah, three I, have, years. I mean, I have no idea. I guess if I really yeah. wanted to find out, I could go to the library and look through the microfiche of the old. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you doing later today? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember the Brown Chicken Murders? Do no. you remember that? No. What is that? Remember Brown's Chickens? No. Brown's no. Chicken was like a KFC Popeyes kind of place. Okay. They had like a like a green with yellow logo. 
with like a bird on it. Okay. And someone went in, robbed the place at the one near Chicago, in the Chicagoland area, murdered people, locked them in the freezer, wow. and left. And then it got turned into something, and it was like a thing in Chicago where it was like, they're trying to sell the brown chicken, and nobody's buying it. And this so could be maybe this, just, this could be the case at God City here today. We don't know until we do some research. Yeah, I mean there are all those bass players that are you know buried in the basement <laughs> too. Like <laughs> I'm not counting. I'm just I was only counting the stuff from before. How many here. how many bad takes until you kill a, a bass player <laughs> at God City? Usually I just eat them. Yeah, alive. That yeah. seems insane. Yeah. <laughs> You shouldn't be saying this. You don't care about your bass player? <laughs> well. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I haven't have... actually eaten any bass players. Do you have a, a rough estimate of... I know we're supposed to be talking spooky, but I'm excited to be here. Yeah. We'll talk a little music. Sure. A little bit. Do you have a rough estimate of how many sessions you've done here? How many bands, maybe? <sighs> it's tough to say. You know, I was actually trying to figure out how many I did last year, the other day. And I think it was something like... I worked on maybe 25 records, and Zach, who also works here, worked on about the same number of records. Wow. So In a year? Yeah. I'm about 75% of the records I do are mix only, mm. um, and then 25 are recording Do you like it that way? It's or like 50-50. You... I, I do like it that way. It's, it makes my time about 50-50 um, recording um, versus mixing yeah so like if i'm only mixing for too long i'll start to get a little stir crazy like i want to be around people i want to record i want to like contribute creatively because yeah. mixing is a little more just of like a technical craft but also like you know when i'm mixing it's not uncommon that i'm just like oh, i wish i had recorded this like i would have done got a better snare sound or you yeah, know something yeah, like yeah. that but at the same time like on the other hand when i'm like recording a band and the bass player is like on take number twenty-seven and can't like begging get, to be eaten, the part, looking, to be looking eaten. delicious, <laughs> turning <laughs> turning into a big steak yeah, in your mind, exactly. a big hot dog, a big a big tofu, dripping oh, water, excuse dripping me. water all um, over your keyboard. Yeah, you. <laughs> so you know, at that point, I'm just like, I wish I was mixing because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the thing I love most about what I do here is being helpful, you know, wow. and like being productive, wow. and. It's not always like helpful or for productive for me to like be waiting for someone to get a part that is under rehearsed. Um, and with mixing, I'm like hopefully always being helpful the whole time I'm working. Um, so I like doing that, um, but I, I need, I think I need both. Yeah. But anyway, back to the original question. Yeah, I probably, you know, 25 to 50 records a year will come through here times 20 years. So, holy like, moly. You know, it's probably somewhere between five hundred and thousand. Ten. You're trying to thousands. count like how many shows you've played. It's hard to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost stupid. impossible. It's a waste yeah. of your time. Yeah, right? or, yeah, like I know that Converge has hundreds of songs. Yeah, is and that we, true? Yeah. We have Can I ask you songs. something? Yeah. Can you confirm this story? Ooh, sure. That somebody. <laughs> and I only ask this. I'll try. Because I think it's funny. Okay. I think your answer is perfect. Somebody asking you, which is an don't do this. Okay. If you're watching this. Don't do this. Somebody asked you, Kurt, how do you play the saddest day? And your answer was, I don't know. I, wait, are you saying I said that? Yeah. No, I know how to play it. No, I know you know how to play it. <laughs> but that was your... <laughs> <laughs> that was your response. Like, Kurt, how do you do this thing in the saddest day? And you're just like, I don't know. I, I feel like I am... Um... Because how do you I describe be, it? I can be really nice to strangers or I can be really rude to them depending on when they catch me. And sure. it's something that I want to get better at. But like, if somebody asked me that, I was probably like in the middle of packing up my gear when another band had to yeah, play after us. And like, don't don't bug me right now. I'm like, I'm working. Yeah. Um, so maybe I gave them a, sn a little snip snippety kind I of can, little, little I can answer. I, I can guarantee that was when they asked you. Yes. I, will say, yeah. I will say this. Everybody who tries to play Saturday State plays it wrong. Nice. Of course they do. Everybody thinks it goes, went, 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 he went, he went. It doesn't go up. It goes down. It's went, 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 went. But, depending, but because of the way that I pick it, the low note, it starts with a low note, except when I'm doing that ninny ninny thing, and mm -hmm. I, then the higher note of like the minor second gets picked first, which wow. makes it sound like it's going up. But that's it's not. hard lore. I have another yeah. hard lore question for you. Okay. I don't even Bring remember you. where I where I heard this. 
I someone had mentioned that you you went through a period or you occasionally would write songs based on just patterns that you would see on the fretboard. Sure, that yeah, you would kind of see a shape and I'm just kind of play. I'm down to play a rhombus. Oh, you know, you got to figure out different ways to be creative all the time, and like um, whether it's like tell the drummer to write a riff or write a pattern and then fit notes to it, or whether it's like play a rhombus on the fretboard or play try to play a circle on the fretboard. Or oh, that's so cool. Do You've a never done that? and then play a circle. Well, uh, when I heard it, mm. I was 15. Especially from a Kurt perspective, because he's like good I, at writing. I was just songs. starting. I'm not I talking about I was just starting to play guitar. So when I heard that, I was like, what? Yeah. The song Human Shield that's on, um, a lot of the songs on, a lot of the songs on Petition the Empty Sky are like, just like a bunch of diagonal lines. Crazy. Um, or rhombuses. Wow. You're out of your line. Man. We, we were touring Europe, and the last day, they did an encore, and they played The Saddest Day. And Nate broke his bottom E string. I don't know if you remember this. Vaguely do, yeah. And he played. There's that whole boom do 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 do. He played it, missing a string, and like did just like he just adapted like that. Adapted on the fly. It was very impressive. I could never. So the last time we played that, we 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 vowed to never practice that song again. So if you ever see us play that at a show, we have not rehearsed it. Um, yeah, Ben was literally in like, order to make the day as sad as possible. <laughs> ben was literally like, I, I, "We could try." <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's how it went. You know, it depends on the kind of show that we're playing. Like, okay, like we just toured with with in the states with Meshuga, and we're like, you know, they're obviously like a machine and a everything's clock. perfect, yeah. and we're playing to their crowd. So we don't want to fuck up in front of their crowd. But like, if it's our crowd, we can fuck up as much as we want, and it just makes the show better. So like, it's. Totally cool. So the last time, basically, what I'm getting at is the last time we played that song, it was a train wreck because I forgot how to play it. Like, there's like a clean guitar that happens before that bass line that you're talking about, and I completely forgot the clean guitar even happened. And I was like, looking at Nate, like, why aren't you playing the bass part? And he's like, why aren't you playing the guitar part? Ah, uh, yeah. And we like ended up just like I will yelling say, it and Kurt, then played it. A few minutes. You, ago. you ended up yelling it. Yeah, I like I couldn't remember how to play it. <laughs> I knew so I knew what it sounded like, but good. I had no idea how to. You play just it. told me you know how to play the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you. You're right. Okay. Two liars busted. here. Yeah. I got you. One, I can play it. Two right liars. Now. Okay. One riffer. Do you want me to play this song in its entirety right now for <laughs> seven minutes? Live. I could probably play drums if you. If you, we, we'll set up. All right, let's set them about up. About an hour later, we'll start yeah. riffing. What could you do? Uh, I can sing it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Right. I couldn't improvise the baby. Yeah, uh, yeah. um, <laughs> Good. Now, mm -hmm. the reason we're here. Yeah. Outside of obviously talking about music and doing good stuff what have you heard about the town if there's something that we should check out the town could people you point who, us in the direction yeah point us in the direction of some stuff that's like even so i'm i'm very similar to you i'm a, I'm a skeptic i'm really not i don't really think that bullshit exists yeah um but i'm interested it's fun you know is there anything where you're like along you're in the same mind frame but this spot's kind of cool, or this spot's kind of weird, or this spot's kind of... Is there anything like that? Let me just do that for a second. Mm -hmm. So I will say that there's a ton of witchy stuff in town. Um, almost all of it is has an element of, like, Harry Potter, Witches of Eastwick, uh -huh. like, bullshit tour stuff. Yeah. And... But also all of it has an element of, like, real Wiccan Tragedy stuff, like, stuff. you know, Earth-based religion mm -hmm. and, like, you know, the idea of, of spell casting not necessarily being a thing that is put on other people, but a way to put yourself into a mentality for mm -hmm. self-improvement. Uh -oh. And the place that best, probably best exemplifies that is just a, you know, couple blocks from here called House Witch. I really like that store. Um, but any of the witchy stores and any of the there's several witchy museums. Yeah. The peop the people working there are kind of conditioned to present themselves uh, or to to help tourists just of experience course. the tourism that they want to mm -hmm. see. But if you talk to if you talk to those people and get them actually talking about like paganism and and stuff like that, then um, you can find out a lot of really good information and you can have some genuine conversations with the people. So I I would try to like seek out people in those in those spaces that like and we're off tour season now so they might be more willing mm -hmm. to actually have like a, yeah. a, a real like conversation a we're starting this a quest quest line. I gotta, I gotta there's find like a it's like one of those rat. things where like there's a there is a lot of like 
there's a lot of parallel cultures here. There's a lot of stuff, literally stuff l lurking below the surface. Like there's a tunnel system all over town that I've never been in because I don't know who to talk to to get into the tunnel system. Well, now, now we're talking. So, we'll figure out. <laughs> I know that. I know that there's a. I think there's a bar downtown called um, Rockefellers that has an entrance into the tunnel system in their basement. Um, wow. There was a. There was a lot of like. Um, you know, like illegal activity happening, yeah, for smuggling sure. and stuff. Because this was actually, um, Boston is made from mostly filled land. So Salem was the original commerce port of Massachusetts. Wow. It, like, pre it predates Boston. And if you go down to the wharf area um, on Derby Street, um, right across from, there's, a, there's like one of the tall ships, the Friendship, kind of looks like a smaller version of Old Iron The Friendship? Sides. It's called the Friendship, a stupid name for a ship. Wow. It's from the 1800s, so it's not like, oh, um, okay. it's not like Revolutionary War oh, okay. era, but it has that kind of look. Yeah. Um, and that's just, that's, it's one of the tall ships and it's parked there and there's like a state park there. But right across the street from that is the Customs House, uh -huh. which has like a big, you know, big granite steps and like a gold eagle on the top of it. Um, that is reportedly one of the most haunted places in Salem. And the reason being, you had the ports there, you had like a lot of trading with, you know, Dutch East India Trading Company, mm. did, a lot, did a lot of business here. And so the Customs House is where the goods and the money were. So when the pirates came into town, they just came into port, ran across the street, went into the customs house, killed everybody, took all the stuff. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of activity over there, and and um, you know steal the stuff and smuggle and yeah. So when was the last time so that on. happened? <laughs> Ooh, um, like Tuesday, I think. Yeah. What day? So that's gonna be fresh in there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, fresh, they might not fresh, let us in. Fresh blood. Mm. Um, so well, yeah, it's worth worth checking that out. We're gonna find those tunnels. Um, You're gonna be seeing high on say, fire. Salem is very much a daytime town. So, oh. Um, if you're here at night, I mean, there's some, there's some like restaurants and like bars and bar. Well, lobster like shanty that. opens there's at five p.m. Shanty. What's up with that? But like the tourism and stuff will all will all shut down. Oh. But yeah, you know, you just gotta like. We're not looking for tourism. Chat I'm looking for chat with the locals. Specters. Yeah, I want <laughs> I want to see old Ghouls. stuff. Ghouls, well, there's yeah. oh, you know what is really cool there actually. Is where are you staying? Cambridge. Nowhere near. Oh yeah, you said yeah. that. Um, so there's the Hawthorne Hotel, which is on Hawthorne Boulevard, and or sorry, the yeah, it's the Hawthorne Hotel. It's on Hawthorne Boulevard. I forget why this happened, but there is a on the roof of the Hawthorne Hotel. There's a ship's captain's cabin. So they took like the captain's cabin from like one of like the boats from the 1700s and like reconstructed it on the huh. roof of this hotel, but nobody's allowed up there. Uh. There's like a secret society that that um, meet there and like maintain it. And I think I don't even think anybody from the hotel has a key in there. What? It's not Ooh. open to the public. So we can't get it. But like occasionally you'll you'll you know there'll be some like celebrity travel person who may, manages to get in there. So there's like photos of it out there. It's like so. the Metro. The Metro has a penthouse. Guns N' Roses lived up there. Lived there? Like, lived there for, like during the Appetite era, like Did after after that touring on that. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. And the, the like, the Metro staff don't have keys to TV get in there. No, I'm not, uh, this I'm not lying about. <laughs> in fact, check me. I've been in the back rooms at Fireside Bowl. Yeah. The secret, the secret spots. Yeah. yeah. Um, you are on the cover of the Converge DVD, and the picture is taken at the yeah, fireside. Yeah. I look like a Gary Larson cartoon. And you look, I remember seeing that and then like seeing you, and especially at the time when, you know, I was like, <laughs> this, this is not that guy. This is a different person because oh. he's like headbanging and like oh, it like yeah, looks yeah, yeah. so wild. I'm not sure who took that picture. No, neither am I. Mad magazine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally look like 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 a Gary Larson cartoon. Which one is Gary Larson? Is he the cranium guy? The cranium guy? Cranium was the other. <laughs> that's right. Gary cracked, something. Cracked. <laughs> Crack magazine. I don't Gary know. Gary Shandling. No, that's a stand-up oh, comedian. God. This is the theme Gary of Gary Larson. Show, the opening theme of Gary That's Show. Right. I love Gary. Fireside's Larson. still there. RIP. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I end up driving by it every time I'm in Chicago. Really? Yeah, I'm just, ran, just randomly. Because right. the highway the I'm going somewhere. Quick, the highway is nearby. Yeah, you can still bowl there, and they have the punching machine. Huge. Love that machine. Who's got the best score you've ever seen? On the Charlie Mark. Yeah. yeah. He, like a 900s. <laughs> there's, there's a really cool... 
arcade in Salem. Well, there's actually two. So there's Bit Bar, which is like a bar arcade, but then there's like this old timey place yeah. called Salem Willows Ooh. that is closed for the season, unfortunately. Oh, of course. So but it's awesome. like a mini um, Coney Island. Like they used to have a roller coaster down there wow. in like the 1800s. Now it's just like a row of um, of like ar- arcades and restaurants and stuff. And apparently the ice cream cone was invented there and kettle corn what? was invented there. Oh my God. Um, we have to come back. This is yeah. huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a summer thing. Oh. Salem's definitely like a summer up until Halloween kind of, course. of town. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's like it's fucking freezing. They used there. to have um, a lot of like vintage like games going back to like the 20s and 30s in wow. there. It's as that stuff is broken beyond repair. It's slowly been replaced by modern stuff. But they still have a whole lot of like. Old, like they've got like Zol- you remember Zoltan from Big? Yeah, they've got Zoltan Zol- there. Zol- or, Zoltar. Yeah. <laughs> Zoltar. That's I think Zoltar. it's so scary. There's might be Zoltar and it might be Zoltan in the yeah. movie Zoltan or, is or in, vice uh, versa. Probably. Uh, dude, where's my car? That's the that's the alien deity that they worship. Okay. <laughs> you must be thinking of Dude, Where's My Car, Kurt? <laughs> I know you, you watch all the time. Late '90s smash hit. Yeah, it might have been early 2000s. I, I mean, I do enjoy that movie. Yeah. See, it's dude, been a while since you I've love Zoltan. It. Yeah. We got another. We got a classic Zoltan worshiper over here. Okay. Well, I'm I'm ready to be scared. I'm I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hopeful about what I'll see today. So, so there's a there's also. I hope you can get a chance to meet him. There's a local that you really should meet. His name is Demon. Yeah, we. Should and meet when him. you see him, you'll you know, you'll him. know exactly who he is. Really, he's like. He's like uh, he wears. A crushed velvet cape and corpse paint, but also like like new metal pants. Okay, and he's, he's just been, around. He's been wearing them since the same one since he was a teenager, oh. and now he's been wearing them so long. Now they're brown, oh. uh, but they started out black, and he's just like a, a fixture of the community. It's like new crust. Could I? Could, will we see him? Just if you're out there walking around, yeah, you'll probably see In him this at some point. Yeah, I saw him last night. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We will keep an eye out for deep. right outside. Anywhere in this area. And this undisclosed and he doesn't area. have friends that seem to be into the same interests as him. He has, like, friends that are, like, different types of people. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, all different sorts of people. So he lives somewhere. He lives somewhere around Salem. But he just I, hangs out. I think out. he's from here. But he's, like, yeah, he's on the street. If I were to... So, okay, so I'd like to go to the woods here. Because okay. I'm sure some terrible things have happened. There. So, they... Some... Some... Um, Forensic archaeologists recently figured out where the gallows actually were. Okay. And, surprise, it's like in the middle of a cul-de-sac behind a Walgreens. Oh, perfect. And like total like residential neighborhood. Wow. Um, and they, they did put up like a little bit of a plaque, but they've really discouraged people from going over there because it's not... It's like a just a residential neighborhood. That doesn't apply to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you're off. It's you're off season. You're yeah. fine. Was the crushing around there too? The crushing. The more weight guy. What? There was a, was there was a man who was convicted of of witchcraft, and he was crushed to death. They put weight on him until he died. That's and, and horrible. And when, when they asked, "Do you admit?" He said, "More weight." That's all he said. I feel like that's in some movie. It's in The Crucible, but it's oh. it's oh. it's like a well known yeah. Thing. Like that's, so that really the happened. crucible. I think a lot of that stuff took place in Danvers or maybe Peabody. One of the first things anybody here around here is going to tell you is that like Salem and the time of the witchcraft trials was geographically much larger than it is today. Um, so a lot of like the events actually took place in what are now the neighboring towns where the Fuddruckers was. <laughs> yeah, there's a Fuddruckers. There's a Fuddruckers in Saugus on Route One. Is that the one you're talking about? It has to in, be. Inside the Home Depot. It's like a Home Depot, a movie theater. They're near. They're near. They're near each other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big, big, yeah, they, yeah, the, big. The cheddar. Pump. You like the cheddar pump, don't you? Love. Yeah. Kurt, you know I love the cheddar pump. <laughs> Come on, them big ass fries and just. Oh, they do have the big fries. Big old fries. Steak fries. That's right. I'm getting hungry. I am getting hungry. Fucking the, lobster the, shanty. The bet, hold on. What time? I can get. I can point you guys to the. What time is it? We're going to lobster shanty. Oh, okay. I can yeah. already taste it. It's gotta happen. I gotta have it. The 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 best fries in the world are in Salem, but they're uh, a place called the Dias, but they're closing in seven minutes. Oh, that's weird. It's weird times. It's four. In this town. Yeah, we got weird times in this town. Well, Adias Adias is a kosher restaurant, so he's got like like Friday he closes well before sundown. The shop. Um, yeah. 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 I've told him if he needs anybody to turn on the lights for him, like I'm happy to yeah. help out. Um, but uh, yeah, awesome. Does guy. the fryer awesome. count? Towards I don't know. Not if Javon. it's on a timer. Wow. Yeah. Hacking. Love That's it. how they get around they it. Got it. So it's yeah. a thing. 
<laughs> no, but it's it, like Saturday's his day off, so he spends yeah. it with his family and All stuff. Right. That's good. Good for him. Yeah. Mazel tov. So go to the Walgreens with the flag. <laughs> not the wall, not the weird greens, not the one over here, but the one that's like on Boston Street. Is it walkable from here? No, short drive. Okay. There's really nothing there. There's like yeah, yeah. there's like a Walgreens and then sort of to the left of the Walgreens up the little side street, there's like a plaque. That kind of fits our gimmick yeah. really well. What you should do is go to some of the cemeteries. Yep. Oh. In particular the uh, the Charter Street Cemetery, which is close to um, close to the lobster shanty. Perfect. Uh, the Charter Street Cemetery has Obviously, no, no witches are buried there, but judges from the witchcraft trials are there. Perfect. And you know they're cursed. <laughs> they are. Hey. Also, people from the Mayflower are buried there. Hey, maybe there's some youngs there. Some youngs there. For oh, sure. yeah. His, his. I'm OG. Oh, I thought you were just. I just thought, I assumed you were from Connecticut. I am, but but before that, <laughs> oh. Mayflower. Interesting. <laughs> OG. <laughs> oh, um, I'm Mayflower. The Charter Street Cemetery also has this awesome tree that has just a giant hole in it. Oh, like a branch that fell out and then the tree kept living and there's just a hole where the, that goes all the way through the tree. Cool. It's really cool. Haunted, for sure. Um, Canon. 100%. I can't believe I, I just thought of it now. Uh, there's the, um, the the Satanic Temple. Is that here? Yeah. Like the world headquarters of the Satanic Temple is that, in Salem. Like the Anton LaVey? Mr. Anton? No, that's the Church of Satan. Antonio? Ah, okay. So the Satanic Temple is essentially like the liberal version of the Westboro okay. Baptist Church. Right. They're just trolls. Okay. Um, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but they're they're rad, and, and I think you give them like five or ten bucks, and they'll let you take a picture with their Baphomet they got um, that they've gotten their shed out back. It's <laughs> I think we can afford that. We can afford yeah, that. yeah, you should go you go check that out. That's it's, called, really, it, it's I think it's called the Salem Art Gallery. Salem Art <laughs> Gallery. Yeah, I think that's what it's like legally called. Okay. Perfect. It's the um, Satanic Temple. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's great. a good good place to wrap it up. I'd say. Yeah. We don't want to take up too much of his time. Yeah. Man's mixing. It's a working Thank you man. so much for having us, Kurt. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this is excellent. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy, enjoy the weekend. We will. Enjoy, indeed. Have a good, have a good concert. <laughs> Thank you. We're you starting. as well tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be seeing high on fire, and we're going to be in the tunnels, getting low and wet. You next time you see me, it might not be me in this body. It might be possessed by somebody else. It's him, especially, because <laughs> he doesn't believe, so he's fucked. I don't you know, he's susceptible to. Spiritual violence, I would say. Anyway. That's a good name for an album. Spiritual violence? Or susceptible to spiritual violence? S spiritual violence, I think, is good. That's pretty good. Uh, you, you know? That's the name of the episode. Copyright. Cut that out so I got it. <laughs> All right? Spiritual you violence. You staked a claim. I did. Yeah. All right. Let's rock. Thank you so much, Kurt. Cool. Yeah, no problem. I'm scared. <laughs>